Well, I pressed record pretty prematurely. So uh, let me find it. So there's another one. I think this one's a bit more, a bit more about life. But I want to share this one as well. I really, this is another one. Um, this I wrote after sitting on top of a cliff when I went to go visit Prague to go home to Prague for the first time in 13 years. It was the first time I'd done a full circle from a place of my respective youth. So um, so it's just about the journey of life, really. Um, so it's less private, but, you know, I thought you might get a kick out of it. Full circle. A cliff face, a pine forest, and a sunny day. And I stare at the grey flecks which glitter about the vista. My sighing moon twine, each one of countless tapestries woven by anxiety, forget me nots of relentless time. Full circle. Fifteen years, I'm now thirty two. Country to country, city to city, school to school, self to self. To go back to the places where my baby face was spared pain, where reality was plain and the Obviously, the caged bird sings of freedom, but the free bird must learn to dodge teeth. Full circle. And I remember I left the nest woke. Jolly defiance, my stride brassic and lilted. Quickly I paid the penance for the endemic arrogance of privilege. And my jester backbone broke. My identity, I thought a statue, really a soggy Pollock painting. A spraying ground for the world's bile, and how could I even begin to ascribe it a value? From where was I supposed to feel my waning smile? I, uh, I plied the skies for sense, and it answered in acid rain. I was whipped with splinters in winds, and down with newfound tears of drowning. I began to panic, as though heartbeats could fix it. But no matter how hard it beat the inside of my chest, I failed to find rest. The cosmic jury with no mercy through books I could not read at me, beating me through seven shades of Hades with nowhere to moor, lost in endless balls of sorrows behind homeless bedroom doors. And I hit the bottom, so stopped falling. Learned again to crawl listless and twisted deep beneath glass ceilings, and I could see them looking up at a different dimension of two stepping mockingbirds and bar taps who twitter so easily tweeting so casually it it looked so easy but all i could hear was click 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 i tried and i tried and i tried to reach even the guise of ease and for a falsified grins beneath which i could hide from myself long enough to Forget they were disingenuine. I've tried and died and died a thousand times. And not like a fucking butterfly. No Gandalf post Balrog resuscitation. Or walking up the clave like Plato or some cunt of the divine resurrection. More like a hall of mirrors in pig shit. Reflecting mutations, a pit of lab experimentations by incorrigible Dr. Time, where each iteration creeps closer to the dream, but everything in between is grim, crooked and abominable. And in the end, should I have bent to age-old wisdoms that generate sage advice? I mean, I leapt before leaping where angels don't tread. I was led like a horse to water, indecisive between sides of grass, so didn't drink. Did I not already think and even know not to try and bleed mile after mile from the same withering inch, or strike irons long since cold, thinking, hey, if it glitters, it must be gold? Should I have not hesitated in my wandering, even when I couldn't be more lost? Or lobstones in glass houses, despite having sinned, trying to make them bleed, and myself not rolling enough to be free of moss. I thought the erratic would win. Never reaping, for I never sowed seeds. A penny spent, a penny lost. Uh, they took the ride, and I tried to avoid the cost. And here I am, still going in the young midlife sun. Full circle back to where life begun. And there's no shrine for this pilgrim. 
No, but the bloody pulsating, crooked, veined heart which has beat about the strains. My dirt is my dirt. My strains, my strains, my scars, my scars, and my pains, my pain. All from the ashes of the bridges I've burnt. The massacre of cells. The mutant discarded shells on the shelves of my back brain larder, and I'm still alive. As far as I can possibly be from my life really begun, I've come full circle. And I have to admit, between me and the heady smell of pine, I wouldn't change one bit. Because if it weren't for all that suffering, how would I finally know I'm doing fine?